Hi everyone, and welcome back to another weekly wolf vlog. My name's Joshua, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a few more beverage recipes. So we do have a bunch of videos already up there, taking a look at drinks that range from an espresso all the way up to a latte. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you our recipes for a piccolo latte and a mocha. So let's first take a look at the piccolo latte. And essentially what that is, is just a smaller version, because piccolo meaning small in Italian, of your regular latte. And if you recall from one of our last videos, a regular latte was made in a six ounce glass, and we're putting a double ristretto in that and filling it up with steamed milk. Making sure there's a good amount of foam at the top. The experience of a piccolo latte is much the same, but in a much smaller glass. So what you have here is a three ounce glass, half the size, so we're gonna be adding in half the coffee. Now, with a piccolo latte, we're putting in one single ristretto, and that's made using 20 grams as our dose, yielding 20 grams out in 18 to 22 seconds. But we're only gonna be capturing one of those ristrettos to add to our piccolo latte. Now, the reason we put a single ristretto into this cup is not only to be a perfect half size of our latte, but also, to ensure that we have a good balance between our milk and our coffee. And we, won't, we don't want it to be too strong. More often than not, customers will bring back the coffee if it is too strong, suggesting that it's either bitter or sour, based on the fact that the strength and flavor of the coffee overpowers their palate. So with the ristretto in a three ounce cup, we find that perfect balance of milk and coffee. So when we make a piccolo latte, just like making the latte, then we're gonna steam our milk to 60 degrees or plus or minus five degrees. The trick to pouring good latte art in a piccolo is to put the glass on an extreme angle. Now, in a three ounce cup, there's really not much room to be filling it up and adding your latte art to. So pouring it on an angle gives you a lot more time, but also a larger surface of coffee to be able to pour your latte art on. But just like a latte or a flat white, about halfway to two, thir two thirds of the way up before you really want to start adding your latte art. But there's no reason why you can't have the same style latte art in the piccolo as you would in your lattes. So let's talk about a mocha now. And what a mocha is, is a coffee beverage with chocolate added to it. Now for us, we do our mochas just like our lattes in a six ounce glass, we're adding uh, a dose of 20 grams in to get a double ristretto, which is 20 grams out in 18 to 22 seconds. With that double ristretto, we're gonna be adding milk to our jug and heating that to 60 degrees, plus or minus five degrees. But before we steam our milk, we're gonna be adding five grams of powdered chocolate to our milk prior to steaming. So we're incorporating the powdered chocolate into our milk. And we find this is best uh, to get a really smooth flavor where we marriage the flavor of the chocolate to the milk and we're able to then pour that singularly into our coffee. The chocolate that we use is a 40% cacao. The key to adding chocolate to the milk is to make sure you add it in after you've placed your milk in and don't put the chocolate on the bottom of your milk jug. If you do that, what ends up happening is the powdered chocolate creates a film uh, underneath the milk and when you're steaming you won't actually incorporate a lot of the chocolate and when you pour out you'll still have a lot of unmixed in chocolate sitting in the bottom of your jug. So adding the chocolate on top and then steaming it will go a long way into making sure that you incorporate all the chocolate. When it comes to pouring you can pour straight away just make sure that just like a cappuccino we're going to be adding chocolate to the beverage before we finish the product. That way we can still add latte art to our mochas. But one thing I personally like to do with some of my mochas is the reverse of that. So you'll see me filling up my mocha halfway and then I'll actually powder the rest of the milk in my jug. And then when I begin to pour, the inverse is the latte art itself is actually the chocolate and then the outer side is the mocha flavor. And it just gives a different twist to your regular mocha. So, a mocha is chocolate and coffee, perfect in harmony. It's a 20 gram dose with a 20 gram yield in 18 to 22 seconds. Key there is to add chocolate to the top of your milk before you start steaming. 
and then you can play around with how you like to serve your mochas. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, we've got plenty of other beverage recipes in our Wolf Vlog. So if you like this video or any others, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't and add any comments of your own. We love to engage our viewers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.